Hey guys, welcome to the garage. Today we're going to be working on our 2015 Honda Accord. We're going to change our spark plugs. So we've got the top of the engine here. We want to remove our cover. This is held on by 10 millimeter bolts. Under that cover, we're going to have our individual ignition coils covering each spark plug. There's four of them. Got to remove those, pull the spark plugs out, put it all back together. Should be pretty easy. Take you only about 30 minutes or so. Let's get to it. So we've got our tools ready, getting ready to start. Uh, four spark plugs for our Honda Hybrid. We do have a screw gun with a socket adapter so we can get the bolts out quick once we loosen them. A torque wrench, I'd say five out of 10 necessity. This is definitely an oversized torque wrench. I recommend using a digital one if you're able to. Check the torque specs. Each spark plug, depending on the thread sizing, is different for the torque specifications. Um, we do have our ratchet, a 9 16th plug socket, a 14 millimeter socket, and a 10 millimeter socket, as well as an extension and any potential adapters we may need. Uh, I like to have a magnetic dish as well so we can catch the bolts, we don't have to worry about losing anything. As far as changing spark plugs go, on this car it's super simple. We remove the top shroud acorn nuts and the shroud pulls out of the way. Now we have access to our coils. We'll disconnect each of the cables. Undo the bolts on each ignition coil. And those will pull out. Grab a plug socket and a ratchet and loosen each of the spark plugs. With them loose, you can undo them the rest of the way by hand. I used a magnet to pull these spark plugs out. You can't reach them by hand. So we've got our spark plugs out. I have them in order from where they are. We see some minor discoloration, a little bit of powderiness, powderiness on the tops of them. Uh, it all looks dry, so it looks like we've been getting some complete combustion, that's good. I'm not sure what this discoloration is on all these. It looks almost like some blow-by. And that could be giving us our stutter. But we've got our new spark plugs here. We're gonna take a little bit of anti-seize. I got an older package here. Pour a little bit of schmoo on the threads. Go ahead and just smear that across it. And we're gonna put those back in. With the anti-seize applied to each of the spark plugs, I just drop them right down. I grab my plug socket and the extension and hand tighten them. So a click type torque wrench is pretty easy. Uh, you set the numbers that you want to torque it to and you turn it until you hear a click. And that's torqued. And then we'll get on our next one. And our last one. Easy. Now the placement of our dielectric grease for the boot protectors, boot protector dielectric 
the dielectric spark plug boot protecting grease application. It's gonna be pretty simple. All we're gonna do is get the schmoo out and cover it around the tip of it. Doesn't need to be a lot. Put that down. Push it in over place. This will prevent moisture from getting in there. And keep everything from sticking on us when we go to replace the spark plugs again later. The same is true for the anti-seize. Having a fair amount of anti-seize on your threading isn't 100% necessary, but the next time you go to replace your spark plugs, you'll be glad it's on there. in you can use your screw gun if you put it on a screw setting and set it to a low number on here. You don't have to worry about over tightening your bolts. Set your ratchet up and they should be fairly tight. You don't want to over tighten these, run the risk of breaking the plastic, getting the bolts stuck, anything like that. We'll go ahead and reconnect our ignition system to the ignition coils. Put our cover back on. Putting the cover back on the right way usually helps. Thanks for watching. That's it. Total job time about 10 minutes, having all your parts and things together, what you need. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. If you know what that discoloration was on those spark plugs, leave a comment. Tell me what it is so I don't have anything to worry about. And, uh, I don't know. What else should I say? Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye.